Hey guys, I'm Doug with d in the Garage, and I want to let you in on a little secret that I don't know how more people don't know. It's how to read codes in an OBD2 Jeep without a code reader. Uh, I think this works for most Chrysler products, but don't quote me on that. Certainly though, uh, your XJs, ZJs, uh, WJs, TJs um, after 96 when they had OBD. So let's go in my WJ and I'm going to let you guys in on this. Hey guys, we are here in the cockpit of my 2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo and I'm about to show you how to read the OBD2 codes on this Jeep with nothing more than your key. You ready for this? You want to get zoomed in on the gauge cluster there, take your key, put it in the ignition, right? Then you're going to turn it till it's about to crank, but don't actually crank it. You're gonna do it once, twice, and the third time, leave it. See that right there? That's my OBD code. It's gonna cycle through all the codes that this Jeep has, and then it's gonna say done. So in this case, I have one code. What was that, 0441? Let's do it again. One, two, three, leave it on. Yep, P0441. Um, if I had more than one code, it would go that code, then it would cycle to the next, however many codes, then it will say done, then it'll go back to your mileage. I'm pretty sure 0441 is an EVAP code maybe? I don't know, I'll look at it later. Um, the important thing is that we did not need one of these because not everybody has one. Uh, I actually don't have one. This is Eric's that I borrowed to do something else with. Usually, when I throw a check engine light, I gotta come over here and do this. I mean, what a great thing for Jeep to build in, you know? Why have OBD2 on cars if you're not gonna let people use it, you know? You gotta go to a dealership or advance. I don't know if other vehicles do this, they might. Uh, I know I tried it in a Subaru and it does, I couldn't find anything on forums. Uh, so to my knowledge, this might be a Chrysler thing and uh, that's pretty darn awesome to me. Um, uh, I guess the other part of this that's important to know is grab a pen and a piece of paper and write down these codes. Then go inside and just Google them. Put P0441 Jeep into Google and it'll come up and tell you exactly what that um, diagnostic code means. It's going to say something like, uh, you know, for this one, like purge valve leak large or something. I think that might be what this one is. I don't know. Um, and then you just go on Jeep forum and, and you Google how to uh, solve that, you know, and you'll get 4,000 people giving you 5,000 different answers and, you know, let, let the fun begin. But uh, at least now you can check the codes at home or on the road. Um, there are some really common codes. Uh, at one point I had intentions of printing out like the a bunch of different codes. So I just kept it in the Jeep with me, but that never happened. Might be a little crazy anyway, but hey guys, so I'm Doug with DE. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you liked this tip, go ahead, man. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. We appreciate it. And honestly, you're doing yourself a favor because we're going to keep coming out with videos like this helpful little hints, ways to keep your vehicle on the road, and you're not going to want to miss out. You know what I mean? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about what we're doing. We love your feedback and we appreciate you guys watching. All right, guys. God bless America. We'll see you next time.